No, you don't want to be his friend. You don't want to know him. But um, you don't want to be him. But you want to watch him or read about him in a novel, on stage or on screen. Um, very much in the mould of Richard III or Iago, people who are murderers and abusers and at times very funny and um, real manipulators, Machiavellian types. And, uh, and this guy is very much in that tradition, but in the 1990s in Edinburgh, as seen through his drug-addled gaze. You know. Is it a big challenge to do this role for you? I always think the biggest challenge is the script. And if the script is really good, you've not got too many problems. And I don't really feel that this script is um, in any way bad. It's the best thing I've read in the last couple of years. And, and that alone um, makes this job, for me, I think, a lot easier. It's You have to go extreme places, but it's easier to go to an extreme place when you're certain what the script is asking for than it is to go to an ambiguous sort of mid-range place that really what are we doing, what story are we telling. And this script is so so bold and so clear that there's never any fear that you don't know what you're doing. You know, So that makes it easier in a lot of ways. Yeah. I know you're a fan of Ron Wells' work. What, what makes him so special as a writer? Uh, His love of patter, his love of conversation, his love of dialect and uh, the idiosyncrasies of, of, of regional dialect, I think, is one of the things. Uh, but also his willingness to explore the depths whilst retaining a great sense of humour um, is, is something that makes him really special and very unique on this planet. Um, there isn't another writer like him. He is very of himself. He doesn't belong to Scotland or Edinburgh. He belongs to the world because there's only one like him. And, um, uh, and I think he's really special because of that. And you've been here for a few days in this town, Trollhättan in Sweden. Five days. In Five days, yeah. The schedule is very busy, but uh, did you have any chance to take a look at the surroundings? I've been bowling at Buddy's, um, which was awesome. And that's about it, dude. The rest has been, I took a short stroll outside my hotel into the woods, got lost, it was great. Got um, lost? Seriously? I got a little bit lost, yeah, for five minutes. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, I just, I did some woodcraft and then I got back. Um, uh, uh, but no, I've had a really nice time and people seem really good. This facility is fantastic, it has to be said. It's a great place to come and shoot a movie. Uh, I'm not just saying that because we're here and I'm sucking up, but... Um, it is a good place. We could do with something like this in Scotland. I'm a big fan of Irvin Welsh. Um, for those people who don't know where Irvin Welsh is, Irvin Welsh wrote Transporting, which that great movie was based on, and various other works. And his vernacular is very specific, not to any um, Scots person. He, sp he writes with a lot of Scottish vernacular, um, but it's got nothing to do with really Scottish people. It is a feeling. He... he um, his art is the kind of underbelly of the human nature. It's the things that we don't talk about. It's the, it's the grime of humanity. It's the sweat of kind of human beings. That, that that's where his medium is. That's where he writes from. So, it's a very specific kind of artistic form that he has. Uh, and I thought John Baird, our director, did a great translation of that novel, of that book. And um, and I wanted to work with James, James McAvoy, and stuff. And and. Uh, you know, it presented me with an opportunity for a role that I'd never really done before. So. It's a big challenge for you to do this role, or uh, it's a big difference from the things you did in the past. No, it's not Tintin. No, it's it's not. You know, it, no, it's it's yeah. It's you. I think you always try to do things differently. You know, from one movie to the next, you always want to try and challenge yourself and do something completely different. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that was definitely a part of it.